slain homicide detective Sean Souter was supposed to testify in was unsealed today by the federal government. And ABC 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler is here now to update us on this case and what it all means. Brian. Well, Jimmy, these are fresh new charges against a former Baltimore police sergeant who has already been charged and in federal custody since March. This specific case dates back to 2010, and as the Baltimore Police Commissioner confirmed today, Sergeant Wayne Jenkins used and set up Sean Souter in a drug planting case. It was unsealed today. This is the case in which Detective Sean Souter was scheduled to appear before a grand jury the day after he was murdered. Souter was going to testify about this scene back in 2010 where a high-speed chase ended with a collision with another car, killing one and destroying this front porch at Bell Avenue and Gwyn Oak in northwest Baltimore. Commissioner Kevin Davis says then-Officer Souter was simply used as a pawn by his sergeant. He was used and he was put in a uh, position uh, uh, where he unwittingly uh, recovered drugs that had been planted by another police officer. And that's a, that's, a, that's a damn shame. Because that other officer was Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, the supervisor over the corrupt gun trace task force that since March 1st has been in federal custody awaiting trial on extortion, racketeering, and overtime fraud. This indictment spells out how Jenkins planted drugs in the car that day and then ordered Souter to retrieve them, all the while Souter unaware of the plant. These charges against Jenkins only pile on the daunting indictment he already faces from last spring. But it is evidence of just how far back federal authorities believe his nefarious and corrupt policing reaches. Hopefully he'll, he'll be put underneath of a jail, um, but this guy was able to operate uh, with impunity on this police department for, for far too long. And if there are any other people associated with him or that federal investigation that I need to be aware of to make the best decisions on behalf of this police department, uh, I need to know who those people are. Still, the commissioner believes the testimony Sean Souter was scheduled to give in this 2010 case is not related to his murder two weeks ago, the police department has been telling us throughout this week that they do have new details and an update in that murder investigation. We're told today that that news conference is scheduled for early tomorrow afternoon. Brian